listening, you can, I mean, Dana, Dana can do anything to produce. Um, hope you're all having a happy Thanksgiving, or have had a happy Thanksgiving, because it's now like 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> um, so, this is the intro to my video. Now, this might seem like it's meant for the end of the video, but unfortunately, I no longer have footage to the beginning of the video. Um... So, Dana, girl Dana, made a huge mistake, and I was in tears. And I know it's only footage, it's not like my, you know, footage of my grandmother or something, and I overwritten it on like a VHS tape, and now it's gone here and forever. No, um, <laughs> we're still here, still alive, but the point is, it was all in sync. So, this video that you're about to watch, bits and pieces might feel like they're out of place, or if I was talking about something in the next clip, I might not even be talking about it at all. Like, finishing my story, or whatever, you know. And that's because uh, the three clips of footage that I did have to include within this whole entire video, I accidentally permanently deleted. So, when I would use my phone to transfer photos or videos for this matter over to my laptop to put together and then to upload to YouTube, um, <clears throat> usually once I transferred it to my laptop, there would still be an original copy of that photo or video still on my phone. But in this case, with the camera that Santa got me, <laughs> oh yeah, I believe that's gone too. Maybe not, but I might have said that in the original intro. Okay, Santa got me my camera early. But um, with this, once you transfer a photo, or a video over to the laptop, it's no longer on the camera. There is no second copy, no first copy, you know, original copy on the camera. It just goes right on over to the laptop and that's it. Once it's over there, and if you do anything to that footage, it's gone. So, I have this happen with my phone before where it would say, some of the files that you are trying to transfer over are, you know, the same thing, even though they're not. Maybe the names are the same, you know, how computers register things. But even though it's a completely different video, um, then what you're trying to transfer over, <clears throat> it uh, will say, would you like to replace it? When you do that, usually it doesn't really do anything. It gives you that video, plus you still have the original one <clears throat> that was already transferred onto, you know, the laptop or the computer or whatever. Well, in this case, when I did that, lesson learned, um, when it replaced the three files that were apparently the same, it got rid of them. It got rid of my intro which I had these on in the intro, but you'll never know now. You know, I'm telling you this, I'm wearing the ears, but you'll never be able to see the intro. I've done the intro, I still remember it like it were yesterday, which it was, but you'll never be able to see it, and it was a good one. It was funny, but um, yeah, I no longer have the intro to that video, I no longer have me peeling the potatoes. Well, first I washed them, and then I peeled them, and then I stuffed them down the drain and turned the garbage disposal on. And then after that, while we're waiting for a water to boil and the oven to preheat um, for the green bean casserole, I began preparing the green bean casserole. So now all that you're going to be seeing is me putting it in the oven and taking it out of the oven. Ooh. How exciting. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. I hope you still get some sort of pleasure out of watching it. 
or well, I don't know about fun, but you know, enjoyment. Uh, it just really kills me. <laughs> I never had any whoop to do like that before. Now, is the only plus about using my phone to make videos. But with this, you can really see them as they were meant to be. So I do apologize. I do apologize about that. Let's hope that next Thanksgiving, now that I know this, we don't overlap the videos and delete the, uh, you know, the main parts of it. <laughs> At least you still got me preparing the potatoes and all that. Well, you know, mashing them and all that, cooking them. Uh, putting the casserole in and out of the oven. <laughs> uh, so the makeup for this mistake. I mean, you're still going to watch that. I mean, you probably have already have. You're going to see it, regardless of what of the footage I do have. But, um, to make up for this little whoopsie do, we're going to do some cleaning. We're going to clean the stove top from when the water kind of boiled over from cooking the potatoes. And I got another little secret surprise for you. I actually done a previous video like this. Probably what about last year? Um, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. I myself enjoy watching videos like this. So stay tuned for that. Or well, I shouldn't say stay tuned. It's all going to be within the one video. Constantly do that. But um yeah, I still hope you enjoy the video. And, as I've said before, hope everyone's Thanksgiving went really well. And lots of goodies. <laughs> Alright, let's get this started. Let's get some cleaning done. Make you sure you're putting the casserole in the yep. oven. Boys sitting there for about 25 30 minutes. I'd say 30 35 to have cooked extra nice and you sprinkle all the uh, extra um, French fried onions on top. Stay tuned for that. All right, <clears throat> let's get chopping them the potatoes. Actually, going to put. Where did my other bowl go? There it is. We're actually gonna. Uh, maybe I'll put it in there. Yeah. This is for the pudding. We're gonna put the slice of potatoes in that. I guess we'll start out with this one. Now I don't go too chunky, nor do I go too fine. I try to do it just right. In the end, it's all just going to be mashed up anyway. But I guess if you're somewhere in the middle, it's gonna cook a little better. Cook just right. So I took my Mickey Mouse hat off. I think it was actually starting to give me a migraine. <laughs> and yes, I know I'm probably not cutting these potatoes correctly, but I'm no chef. I just, you know, wing it. I wing it as best I could.
as usual. So I have like six cats, as you've seen before when I cleaned the mouse's house. And um, you'd think they wouldn't fight, but they do. Even though they've been living with one another for who knows how long. Dumb cats. Actually, cut out quite nice. Maybe they're a little more rougher, and that's because they're sitting out, not in the fridge. To assist? Uh, no, I came to take a shower. Yeah. I'll go make him this rated or. Why not? Try to keep it PG 13. Okay. Well, I'm going in for a shower. Okay. Casserole's done. You know the worst part about boiling potatoes for me? To make mashed potatoes? I hate putting them in the water. I feel like I'm gonna scold myself. And I have. Not too bad, but you go, huh, oh, a lot of hot water. some of the potatoes on the tree, just a little bit too many, and some fell. They went overboard. Ah, more fell. What the heck? Ah, 
last one. into the pot. The scariest part of them all. Alright, now for the most scariest part of them all. Putting the potatoes in the pot. Oh, we don't to do this. Okay. <clears throat> Five to thirty minutes, maybe thirty-five at best. So we will get back to that momentarily. All right, let's say potatoes are about done. Now the fun part. Let's mash them. <laughs> Alright, let's take those in the bowl. And dump in the potatoes. 
and uh, try to uh, keep up with the dishes every chance I get when cooking a multitask. Here's our bowl. And there's our masher. And we're going to do some more uh, trusty dusty uh, mixer. It's from really from the 70s. Brand something, which is an oldie, but first we mash this. Uh, I say them right. Let's get them. Now we'll add in the butter and stuff. I actually don't need these anymore. So
reason. I guess sizzle with butter kind of you know, like not quite. Potatoes are so fluffy. I don't even know if I have to use the mixer, but I'm going to anyway. To add some salt or well, pepper, that takes a little salt. even taste like milk at all. It's my question. Mm. You have to even add milk to mashed potatoes. Do you even have to add milk to mashed potatoes? Oh, it tastes good without milk. Tastes good. I never had this happen before. Hmm. That really tastes good 
can really taste good. I'm going to go see what my boyfriend thinks. Hold on, Jamie. I'll be back. So the boyfriend approves. Well, Jamie. That's the first time I really have had. That's the first time I even have had any milk to mashed potatoes. Maybe it's because I used real butter this time. Usually I had a grim margarine. So I used uh, Lano Lakes. Real butter versus this stuff. Imperial margarine. So maybe that's the case. I don't know. I don't want to add any milk to this. So this is what I would call a milkless mashed potato recipe. But I'm still going to use the mixers because that's what I promise. <laughs> Even though it's like, what time is it? It's going to like 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, they're already pretty fine, so I don't think I'd have to mix much. But I'm still going to do it anyway. Clean up some of this stuff in here. All right, ready for the mixing. Mash this a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because of how much of the butter I used. It's just so good. Come on, bring it off. Rides over. Get all that in there. That is very rich and creamy. Okay, time for the yield mixer. This ought to be fun. Let's hold on to the mashed potato a little bit. What the heck? It's already on. Okay, time to see the dinosaur in action. using a 40, no, 50 year old mixer here. But it works just as good as the new ones do. That's funny, my grandmother used this so many times and it still works. She was always in the kitchen. Well, no. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. No, I'm losing the potato. Ah. Uh, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's just good people. This is like absolutely out of this world. I don't think I've ever made such good potatoes before. Usually they're very thick, but you know, still rich and fluffy, creamy. I think it's petering out on me.
because there's some rich and creamy potatoes right there. Well, let's see what else there is to make before I'm done and over with. Let's see. No, I can't go. And, um, the dessert is some chocolate pudding. So, that's it for the potatoes and the green bean casserole, which is right over here. It's tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the pudding. That ought to be fun. <laughs> Alright, and last but not least, the dessert. As I said before, it was going to be brownies, but we unfortunately have run out of brownie mix. So I am left with pudding. Pudding. Crack these bad boys open and get started. That's okay. I like junk pudding. Can't go wrong. I would have made a. Uh, Cookies and cream, you know, with Oreos and all that, but no, oh, well, dirt pudding actually, but uh, I don't have any. Okay, for pudding, of course, three cups of cold milk into a bowl, add a mix, beat. We do that at this first one. Actually, where's the whisk at? There it is. I don't even use this, but maybe I should. Now it does look like brown mix. it as I go. So I feel like if I just kept adding the um, liquid, it would just all start going to the top. This is what I do with pancake mix too. I just add and mix and add and mix and add and mix. It smells like brownie mix. Thank you. 
Almost there. I just have to let chill in the fridge. So got some uh, leftover rainbow sprinkles, which I don't think I'm going to add it to the mix until tomorrow. Like uh, when it's individually like served in different bowls, uh, it's up to the person. First, it's up to person to person to sprinkle a little bit of these on top. They're putting because if I were to put it in now, it's just gonna all go sink to the bottom. Get like probably uh yucky. <laughs> so it's best just to add that on top of your pudding when it's more solidified and you know, each your own. Some people might not want rainbow sprinkles on top of their pudding. seal. Lay that on top and put it in the fridge. Ah, uh, shoot. That's a pudding. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make the mess at some point. perfectest way I've ever put on a saran wrap, but hey, learned enough things. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed me preparing some Thanksgiving good eats. I should just say Thanksgiving good eats. I don't know. I like to say it in England or whatever. Thanksgiving good eats. Even though I can't see my face. Let's see here. Not too wild. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez. It's all a work in progress. I promise. Actually, about an hour ago, and I had to stick the casserole back in the oven again to cook. Unfortunately, I won't be putting any of the other onions on top like you're supposed to, because I'm actually just going to put right in the fridge for tomorrow. There's already onions in it, but I don't want to put any other onions on top of it, because that'll just get, like, soggy. It's like when you prepare a salad and you're not going to eat it that night like you want it tomorrow. You want the croutons to be fresh and crunchy so you're going to put that on top, you know, tomorrow when you actually go to eat it. So, let's see if I do that. All right. This is how it came out. I think it came out quite nice. Very full. Cool. Alright, and on to the potatoes. The chopping of the potatoes. Alright, <clears throat> this is my stove top. Let's get some light going here. Alright, remove this guy. And remove the grate. Put me in the way. Now anymore, I take the lazy route. I just spray some, you know, disinfectant and wipe it down with some paper towel. You know what? Not this time. Not this time. I'm going to move all this. And most of the time, I'll be washing all this in the sink, but it actually is not dirty. These don't really get all that dirty anyway. But, you know, the main surface there. So I'm going to do a little bit of a freshly brush. And I got some hot soapy water in the dish here with a nice sponge. Ah, no. Hot water on the counter. And we just scrub. This little scrub scrub. Look at 
Nina. What? Just around the cat. Think she's hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this soapy water. Nice clean stove top. you enjoyed that now on to the finale of the video and as promised the finale we are going to be washing this guy <laughs> boy it's a bit tipsy after that uh, whole uh, Thanksgiving dinner won't you say now it's time to scrub him clean and sober him up so that's what we're going to do <laughs> So, uh, enjoy. Alright, Frosty, it's time for you to sober up. Wake up and smell the coffee. 
to be cleaning this too, actually. But first, we's going to start out with this. Get some of that soap on this brush here. And begin scrubbing. some water. Now we repeat the soap.
Now for his hat. Pull up my sleeve. 